in life, we go through many different types of tests, trials, challenges. We go through uh, distress. We go through anxiety. We go through depression. We go through grief. We go through misfortunes. Allah says, do people think that they will be left alone because they say we believe? Do you think that that's it? You're not going to be tested? You're not going to be trialed? We indeed tested those who were before them. And Allah will certainly make it known the truth of those who are true. And will certainly make it known the falsehood of those who are liars. Who are the ones who will continue with their belief? Who are the ones who are going to deviate? Just because they've been now struck with a calamity. That there are some people, they worship Allah right on the edge. Whenever something good happens to him, he is happy with it. But if a trial befalls him, he reverts to his former ways. He loses both the dunya and the akhirah. He loses both worlds. We must understand and we must remember that life is filled with trials with challenges with hardships some of these trials can be very very difficult and some not so difficult it could be a child it could be a difficult spouse you could have a sickness this sickness may be temporary this sickness may be chronic if you've got it all the time this sickness may be terminal some people like cancer sometimes we have people are poor poverty or for example you lose a loved one somebody that's dear to you could be a family member, could be a relative, you know, could be a friend. This is something which is very, uh, very difficult to deal with. It could be that you lose your job. It could be that you lose a prized possession, something that's really dear to you, you lose it. It could be that imprisonment. So as you can hear, the challenges in life are many. You don't know where they're going to come from. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Again, is telling us it's a test. This world that we live in, brothers and sisters in Islam, it's a transitory life. We are in this life only for a short period of time. Some people, it befits them to be wealthy. Being wealthy might keep them on the straight path. Some people, it befits them to be poor. Because if they were rich, they'll be misguided. Some people, it, it befits them, it is better for them to be sick. If they were in good health, they would not remember Allah. So we don't know how the trials come and where they come from. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We test you with both evil and good as a trial. The, the story that I want to share with you is a story about a leper and a bold man and a blind man. And its origins are in Bukhari and Muslim. He's narrating to us from amongst the Banu Israel. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sends this leper an angel. And he says to him, what thing do you like most? He said, I want to have a good color because the people have a strong aversion. They want to always, you know, keep away from me. So the angel touched him and he was cured and he was given good color and he was given good skin. As a bonus, the angel said, what type of wealth would you like? And he said, uh, he said, I would like to have some camels. So he gave him a, a she camel because that way she, she can give birth to other camels. And he said, but Allah bless this camel for you. Then the angel came to the bold headed man. And he said, what thing would you like the most? He said, I would like to, you know, have some hair and be cured of this. I would like to have this. The people feel, you know, people look at me in a strange way. You have this repulsion to me. So the angel, he touched him and, and he was cured and he, and he was given good hair. And he said, what uh, type of uh, wealth would you like? He said, I would like to have uh, some cows. So he gave him a pregnant cow and he said, may Allah bless it for you. Then he comes to who? The blind man. And the blind man asked the same thing. What thing would you like? He said, I would like for my eyesight to be restored so that I may see the people. He said, okay, he touched his eyesight and he gave him back his eyesight. He said, what, what wealth would you like? He said, I would like to have sheep. So then he gave him a pregnant uh, sheep. And afterwards, all the three pregnant uh, uh, animals, they gave birth to the young ones and to each one of these people, they had a valley of these animals. Okay, so much wealth. Then the test time came about. The angel, 
He came disguised in the shape of a leper. To who? To the one who used to be a leper. And he said, look, I'm a poor man who has lost all of his means of life. While um, I was on a journey and no one's going to be able to satisfy my need except Allah and then you. He said, in the name of him who has given you such nice color and beautiful skin, I ask you to give me a camel so that I may reach my destination. So what did this ex-leper, he said, he said, I have many obligations. And the angel said, were you not a leper from before? Didn't you used to be also a leper and the people had a strong aversion to? Weren't you a poor man and Allah gave you all of this? He goes, no, 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 no. That's not me. You've got it wrong. That's, I'm, not the, I'm not that person. I got this property through my forefathers. I, I inherited all of this. So then the angel said, if you are telling a lie, then let Allah make you as you were before. Then the angel comes in the shape and the disguise of uh, a bold man. Okay, and he comes up to the ex-bold. Okay, and he says to him the same thing that he said to the ex-leper. And they both said exactly the same response. And then he says, if you are telling a lie, then let Allah make you as you were, as you were before. So the angel now comes in the disguise as a blind man. And um, he says to him, I'm a poor man, I'm a traveler, I've lost all means. You know, I put my trust in Allah and then you, I ask you by the one who has given you beautiful eyesight to give me a sheep. So I can complete my journey. Now, now listen to the response of the blind man. The blind man, he said, no doubt I was blind. And Allah gave me back my eyesight. And I was poor. And Allah made me rich. So take anything you wish from my property. He said, Wallahi, I will not stop you from taking anything that you need from my property. Would you take for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake? So then the angel said to him, keep your property with you. He said, you three men, you have been tested and Allah is pleased with you. And he is angry with your two companions. When we look at the people of uh, the past, and we look at the prophets specifically, we see that they were tested. Why is Allah Azza wa Jal mentioning these stories? Just so we can uh, enjoy those stories. There are lessons to be deduced. There are morals that we need to take heed of. In the authentic hadith in Bukhari, he said, the people that receive the most severe trials and tribulations are the prophets of Allah and then the like and the like. 